the Dango M1, it's pretty cool. Leather, aluminum, this has all kinds of slots. Love it. Watch. Welcome to Wallatopia. Please subscribe, ring the bell, go to wallatopia.info to sign up for notifications about new videos and chances to win wallets we review in drawings every other week. Now, let's open up the Dango M1 Maverick wallet. I kind of like the packaging of this, so let's get into it. It's a metal box stamped with their name. So we can see right here. Uh, it's very industrial, rugged, which fits the profile of the company's products. Let's get in here. Get instructions. And here is the wallet. Kind of a problem getting it out here. So, yeah, the box interferes a bit here. Hold on. Wow. Yeah, it was a little more difficult than I would have expected here. All right. The uh, leather is uh, a whiskey brown color. The leather component, which is top grain, yeah, smells very much like a veg tan. Provides many slots for cards, cash, and even a key right here, which we'll get into in the review. It's a CNC'd anodized aluminum, which is a great industrial design touch here. Let's get into the review of the features of the Dango M1 Maverick Slim Wallet. All right, as we can see here, we've got a front. The front has appear to be two slots, one slot in the front, one slot in the back. Each slot should be able to hold two to three cards, and uh, what is a unique feature here is they have this little piece in the front and this is where you can put a key which is very convenient you'll notice that here in the front as well there is a thumb push for all of these cards here in the front two slots and that's a great touch if we flip this over we obviously have a slot here let's take this out and so this could be a quick access card slot here as well as it has a thumb push for this and, uh, and that's very nice. You can see they've got these bolts, stainless steel bolts that actually connect this leather piece to the inside, which we'll get into now. So on the inside, we have here yet more card slots. There's no quick access here, but there is a card slot here. And what's interesting is what we have on this other side. So here we've got a metal piece that uh, is removable. And this then provides access to put cards underneath this. And what makes that uh, convenient is that as cards build up, they get, they get uh, put underneath here and they don't really interfere with anything else. Now, of course, we have a band here, and so this is where you put cash in the front. We'll see how that goes in the card and cash insertion test. And again, just like we saw on the front card here, we also see on the inside here where there are quick access slots and a way to pull the cards in and out. And that is uh, a great feature. We can also see that they have four keyhole slots, two here and two down here. And the company provides uh, different access uh, or different features you can use here. And one is a lanyard. So lanyards can hook to the top here, which means this can go over you. And they like to uh, have demonstrations of you know, law enforcement of having badges and that kind of thing. But it's a great way to hold your wallet. And that concludes the features of the Dango M1 Maverick wallet. Let's get into the card and cash insertion test. As you can see, we got 14 cards into the various slots, but you'd have to break in the leather a little bit more to get more. The company says that they can hold 14 to 16, so that really is a proper limit and really at its maximum. We put five slips of cash in here, folded over twice, but that left the wallet a little bulky. Now, the quality of this is really good. As mentioned, the aluminum metal is CNC machined. It's anodized in this gray color we see here, which we really like. Uh, it has mil-spec stainless steel bolts that are put here in the back and uh, connected the leather to the aluminum. It really is a nice touch. It's not obtrusive and it, it looks really good. Now the price is $109. That may sound expensive, but this is all made and assembled in the United States. So although it may look like there's a lot of pieces, there really isn't. 
The manufacturing design was done very well. Not counting the screws in here, there are four separate pieces. So the cost really is about the assembly being done in the, in the United States. If this was done in China, I would probably knock off $20 or so. The usability is good. It provides an easy way to push up the cards in all the slots with the exception of the ID card here in the back. The main card holding location is very easy to access and provides a way of holding all the cards right in here while providing a way to, to hold them down in and not interfere with the cash band up here at the top. Um, and there's really no issue of getting in and out of your pocket. The card measures 3.1 inches by 4.25 inches and it's about uh, 0.61 inches. The industrial design provides sophisticated edges on the aluminum demonstrating a lot of thought that, uh, and, and provides a lot of interest into this. It, it just makes it look cool. Uh, I don't see a lot of customer interaction in places where they sell, especially like on Amazon, so I can't really comment on how well they take care of their customers. But with that, let's now get into the final score of the Dango M1 Maverick. For quality, we're giving it a four. For price, a three, due to it being made in the United States, it qualifies for that pricing. Features a four, usability a three, and perception a four. That gives us a final score of 3.6 out of 5 or 36 out of 50. We hope you, you've enjoyed the review of the Dango M1 Maverick wallet. Please subscribe, ring the bell, give us any comments you have, questions, and other wallets you would like to have us review, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.